In my last video, we did this example in an algebraic way. Now in this video, I want to do this in a graphical way. Now here, you should understand this is an equation, exponential equation. And uh, whenever you have a number which is less than one, that would be decay curve. Now, to understand logically, if you don't understand the word decay, what's happening here, the computer, uh, value of any computer depreciates. The word is, the technical word is depreciates. Depreciates has count, is the opposite of appreciates. Anything which increases the value, uh, we call it appreciates. And anything which decreases its value, we call it depreciates. A computer, as you should be knowing, the value of a computer keeps depreciating. Yeah, this 0.7 tells me that the computer is depreciating at the rate of 30%. Now you may ask, how do I know that? Because this point, when something is depreciating by 30%, what is remaining is 70% of that value. And 70% as a decimal is 0.7. So in other words, if you want to understand this uh, without uh, doing the maths process, the first year, when it start, the when time is zero, when t is equal to zero, your value is going to be 3,500. Okay, so we'll write this say v zero. When t is equal to one, say after one year, we'll say v one will be 3,500. Oops. So let me do this, explain this in a different way. So this is V1, which is a value after one year, would be 3,500. I'll show this on a table, times 0 0.7, 0 0.7 to the power 1, which is, this is nothing but 70% of this. Okay, when you're multiplying by 0 0.7, you're finding 70%. So when you're finding 70% of something, it is depreciating by 30%. So whatever that number is, I don't know. So when t is equal to 2, when t is equal to 2, let me write this here. So when t is equal to 2, what would you do? T v2 will be 3,500 times, this is 0, this is after one year, 0 0.7 will be after one year. This will be, this is the, okay, can we say this is, let us understand this in a different way. So this is, the value after two years would be V1, that's the value after one year, times 70% of that year. So this is 3,500 times 0 0.7, times 0 0.7. I didn't want to explain this way, but somehow the my lesson has gone like this. So this is 3,500 times 0 0.7 squared. And that's how the value comes here to the power two. So if you don't want to understand the formula, how this formula works. So after three years, so let me do it here. So when t is equal to three, when t is equal to three, your v3, would be the value after two years, that is V2, times the 70% of that, which is 0 0.7, which is 3,500 times 0 0.7 squared times 0 0.7. Some of you, it may be a bit confusing, but basically you're finding 70% of uh, the value every year. So this is 3,500 times 0 0.7 to the power 3, 0 0.7 cube. And that's how the formula tells me. So after three years, if you directly put this, and that's if you have seen my previous video, this is how we did after three years for this. Okay, now how to do this on a calculator. So uh, this is my calculator. Uh, menu, you go to your table menu. Okay, so now I'm going to type in 3,500 times 0 0.7 raised to x. So your x is your t and your y1 is your v. Okay, 
and you set press F5 which is set so they're asking you where where do you want to start so I want to start at zero years and I want to finish at 10 years okay and go execute and then go to table so let me explain this table so it tells me when it is zero years when t is zero or x is zero the value is 3500 oops when when it is when it is one year it is 2450 i'll explain that you can do this on a calculator 3500 times 0.7 would give you this number so after two years it is 1715 that is you can do that on a calculator which is 3500 times 0.7 squared will give you this so after three years it is 1200.5 okay after four years it is 840 okay after five years it is 588 point and so on so this is how it goes okay and then if you want to graph this if you graph and you go graph plot okay or graph connect if you do this so you have to set the scale here so the scale is not appropriate so I'll go from 0 to 10 10 years is enough and I want to your y scale should be from 0 to 3500 so I'll go say 3600 and a scale of 500 would do and then you go table and G connect so this is your graph can you see the graph this is called the decay curve so when it is 0 it is 3500 okay and the value goes down and almost becomes 0 after a number of years now you go to your graph menu to do these questions so I will have to scroll like this okay and then go and draw graph so this is your graph so the first question was what's the value when it is new that means uh, in other words they're asking you what's the y value when x is equal to zero so you go g solve and type in y calc when x is equal to zero which is 3500 so the second question was what's the value after three years okay so that would be so again g solve uh, y calc and type in uh, say three years so three and so that's 1200.5 that's how you get, get this answer and the third question was when would the value of the computer go below 500 so I'll find exactly 500 first and then I'll answer it so this is uh, g solve and I want to find x cal because we want to find the time okay no so I exit draw g solve I want to find x calc so your y value is 500 so we want to find what's after how many years would the computer become exactly 500 so it tells me it becomes exactly 500 at 5.455 blah blah years now this is use your logic this is closest to five and a half year or 5.5 years so here I can tell the answer that after five and a half years, I'll only write after five and a half years, the computer will go below uh, below 500. So let me explain that in a table form. If you go to table, okay, so set, and I'm going to zero to 10 at a scale of 0.5, just to explain that. Oops. So I have to scroll like this, okay, and uh, draw table. Okay, so when it is zero years, it is 3,000. So after half, six months, it is 2,928.8.3 and so on. So let me go at 5.5 years. So when it is 5.5 years, it is 492.16. That's This is below $500.